What's up, cooks? It's Wednesdays. So I get a lot of questions about how to finish off your bread dough before you put it in the oven. And what I'm talking about is what kind of wash that you put on this dough to give you a certain kind of results. So today we're going to be using three different methods to deal with this dough. We're going to be doing an egg wash on one, we're going to do butter on the other, and we're going to leave one plain to see what happens. So join me. Let's finish off this d bread so we can get it in the oven. So when you get your bread to this stage, you've, you've created the dough, you let it ferment, you punched it down, you shaped it, you allowed, you panned it, you allowed it to rise in the pan. Now the question is, what do we do with it? Do we just throw it in the oven and create just plain loaves? Or do we spice it up a little bit? So what I have here is three one pound loaves of just plain white bread. There's nothing fancy about this bread. But what you're gonna find is, depending on how what preparation you you use before you put it in the oven can greatly change how your bread looks when it comes out, obviously. So what we're going to do today is we're first going to take one of these and we're going to do an egg wash on that. That means we are going to take just an egg. You can put a little bit of water in here. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And we're just going to beat that egg up and this one is going to get the egg wash. This one is going to go in plain. This one is going to get butter. And usually I put the butter on about five minutes before the bread is going to be done. You can put it on now. The only issue is if it will over brown because butter will brown when it gets that heat on it. So it will be a little bit darker of a loaf and brown faster. So what results I expect to get is the egg wash loaf is going to be nice and glossy and shiny. The plain loaf is going to be dry on the outside and it's going to have a muted color. The buttered loaf will be quite interesting because it softens that crust a little bit. It will soften it more if you butter when you first put it in, but I usually do it, like I said, just before it's done. It's going to soften that crust. It will give it a shine, but that shine will be a lot more muted than the one with the egg wash. It will also give you a little bit of a buttery taste. This is salted butter, and to me, when you use salted butter, it gives it a little saltier taste to it. It's amazing that a little bit of butter will really salty up this bread. So here is our egg wash. And when you do a wash, you want to use, I use a silicone brush. You can use any kind of uh, baking brush or kitchen brush. And you just dip it in here. You can thin it out slightly with a little bit of water. And you just want to very gently brush your bread. You don't want to do it too heavy handed because what's going to happen is it will deflate all that beautiful rise that you got on it on your second, whether you're doing a second, third rise, whatever it is, after you've panned it. So we're going to go ahead. So on an egg wash, an egg wash can be a straight egg. It can be an egg with a little bit of water. It can be purely just egg white or it could be just yolk. And because I'm using the yolk, see how I'm getting obviously a little bit of a yellower color on this than if I were to just egg white? This is gonna be a really glossy dough. Really glossy loaf of bread. So 
These two, I'm going to leave plain right now. Five, eight minutes before this bread is done, I'm going to butter this. So we will be doing that. So I'm going to get these in the oven. And as soon as this one's ready to butter, we'll be back. Okay, we're going to butter this one up. They're looking pretty fine. These two, I must not have got enough tension on it when I was, um, when I was, uh, forming them because they didn't rise up evenly, but they will taste mighty fine anyway. So we got a nice coating of butter on there, looking good. You can already see how shiny that one is. So we'll finish baking these off. Okay, the bread is out of the oven. And what we have is you can clearly see the difference between these three loaves. This is the egg wash. So the egg wash almost has like a, not a slippery, but very shiny, very um, smooth? smooth and it just it glows it's glossy the butter you can't see it as well on the um, camera but it does have a shine to it but it's not as this is very like um, slacked almost that's what it kind of looked like like I put some slack on there this one is softer um, it has a little greasiness to it because of the butter and there is a shine to it. This loaf is flat. Basically there's no shine. There's no grease. This is our, um, bread that I, uh, didn't do anything to. You can tell when I formed it, see how it's lopsided a little bit. Sometimes that is, it could be caused by a little too much yeast. I was a little too heavy handed with the yeast or that I didn't put enough tension on that dough when I panned it, so it rose at different levels, right? Um, I did have a little bit of blowout here, which just means that it overrose. But what's funny is this one didn't have any blowout at all. Look at the size. Look how beautiful that is. I don't know if the egg kept it from rising quite as much. I weighed all this dough out, so... These are all the same size, uh, same size loaves within about a quarter of an ounce. So I don't know what's up with that, but look at how beautiful this is. That's beautiful bread. So check out when we slice these bad boys. So here's our bread. We're using the one that I put the egg wash on. I did squish it a little bit when I was holding it. Um, so we're going to go ahead and slice it and I am right handed. So I'm going to slice on this side and we take the end off and there is our crust, our crumb. I mean, mm -hmm, looking good. Um, we can thin slice it or we can thick slice it depending on how you want to use it. Ooh. Beautiful. This is a really soft bread, so um, it, it will squish pretty easily. <laughs> Trust me, I know, because I kind of squished it. So it's a very soft sandwich bread. Your kids will love this. So this is just made from my bread machine dinner roll recipe, and um, I made it into a loaf. Yum. So what's up, cooks? It's Wednesday. We have the same exact loaf of bread with three different kinds of washing techniques, and we have three absolutely different results. We have our plain bread that's, it's just kind of dry looking on the top. We have our buttered bread that's a little softer and a little glossy, and we have the ultimate glossy bread with an egg wash. So when you see bread in the store and you see that glossy, that comes from just washing it with an egg wash. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you have a fantastic Wednesday. 
and um, we're gonna enjoy eating all this bread. If you like this video, please subscribe below and leave me a comment and a like, and um, tell me your favorite tips for bread making. Um, also, hit that bell so you get notified of our uploads. You can catch me in my Facebook group. We talk about breads, all kinds of recipes, stand mixers, all kinds of kitchen appliances, facebook.com slash groups slash Amy Learns to Cook. You can catch me on Pinterest and Twitter at Amy Learns to Cook and on Instagram, I'm at Cooking with Amy. And also you can catch all my recipes on my website, amylearnstocook.com. Have a fantastic Wednesday and um, hmm, enjoy eating homemade bread. So what's up cooks, it's Wednesday. We have three loaves of bread with three. So what's up cooks?